Praise the Lord. Good morning. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, uh, to be here this Tuesday morning to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health uh, and happiness uh, regardless of our situation in our world. As I always say, beloved and friends, uh, that we are living in a very sick uh, and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised, uh, he says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world isn't that awesome this morning isn't that great isn't that mighty isn't that majestic that god himself promised to be with us in every situation in every circumstances in every trial in every testing in every storm in every decision making he said in his words a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by the dwell let's give him a big hand god bless you richly yeah, hallelujah praise god thank you jesus praise god i release a very special blessing upon each and every one this morning and i cover everyone under the precious blood for the blood is so efficacious and the blood is so powerful i cover everyone under the blood of jesus this morning in the mighty name of jesus father god this morning i pray you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the holy spirit anoint mortal man of clay as i minister your words your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the holy spirit that many will be healed many will be saved many will be blessed many will be delivered many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness in jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name amen let's give him a big hand Hallelujah, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. This morning, before I get into the word of God, I know our world is, is in chaos and confusion. Things are happening. The heat wave in America, they says it has never been so hot in 125 years. They have seen storm which they never saw in over a thousand years. Strange things. I prophesied all these things before. But beloved and friends, I want to let you know this morning that what really is happening in the world, where is the world heading? I see the media is coming up with different, different things concerning what is happening in Russia and with the, the Wagner chief, uh, Progosian. But I want to tell you something. I have a very important question. The question is... Uh, is the question is this morning before i get deep into the world the question is this morning beloved and friends all across the world the question is is this morning is president putin and president of belarus lukashenko and the wagner chief boss progosian is with these three men what is these three men playing a game with nato the answer is clearly yes these three men these three men are playing a game with nato and the general secretary of nato need to understand that it is a game that uh, putin progosian and lukashenko are playing with nato get ready number two what number two question this morning why has Putin transferred so much nuclear weapon to Belarus? Why has he done that? Number three, who will Putin use to press the button with those nuclear weapons when he's ready to use them in, in Belarus? He need a, a trusted, loyal friend to do that because he has to do his work in russia and he need a loyal friend to control from belarus yes my friends these things are important number three what is happening in the world is the third world war different from the battle of armageddon yes the third world war is different from the battle of armageddon after the third world war yes things will change the battle of armageddon will be the end when little before Jesus return, so it's different altogether. It's a different war altogether, my friends. Uh, what our world is heading towards uh, very soon, uh, we need to understand all these things. Uh, what is happening? How much 
what will happen in the third world war i explained before in the third world war how much people will die but let me tell you in a world today we have about eight billion souls in the world but when the antichrist takes over that means they, it, it will only be about half the amount about four billion souls four billion people will live in the world he says prophet what are you telling you making me get goosebumps today no what i'm saying is true let's say about 1.3 billion will go in the rapture that's before the antichrist take over 2.66 billion will die what is happening yes and the other question will the third world war be long no it will be a very short war but lots of destruction and it will make room for the antichrist to take over the world very soon which he will rule for seven year period of time yes uh, congratulations also to nato who are two who will get two additional members soon finland and sweden into nato 32 but uh, remember that uh, what is happening now let's see that, uh, that, that NATO goes to war. NATO goes to war with uh, Russia. Will NATO win that battle? Will NATO win that war with Russia? Remember, if NATO go to war with Russia, China will back Russia. Iran will back Russia. North Korea will back Russia. In the dream I had over two years ago, I did mention about the four black angels, which is China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea. You know the outcome. Check that message two and a half years ago, hungry for help. Praise the Lord. These are important things today, my friends and beloved. We all know that America took the world, took control of the world after the Second World War. After the Second World War, through the World Bank and IMF, America become, became the superpower controlling the world with their currency. It so happens to be that they controlled the world for 70 years, but it will be different around this time. Now, America has about $31.46 billion in debt. Now, in a war, the last Second World War, most times when you have World War, debt are wiped out. But in the Third World War with America, $31.46 billion be wiped out. No, this is a different war. Will America win? No. My friends, there will no be no winner. There will be no winner in the third world war. You say, Prophet, what are you seeing? No, what will happen there? The Antichrist will take over after the third world war. The Antichrist will take over when everything collapses and there will be a one world ruler, a one world government, a one world currency, a one world religion. I will not be here, but I'm just saying these things. These things are going to happen to this order very soon soon be seeing strange things are happening i preach a message what will happen in the first 40 days yes that's in the month of, from june from the end of june to end of july and from july to end of august to early september yes there will be a treaty signed on the 23rd of september yes a peace treaty will sign we do not know what will happen within the 80 days roughly 80 days from now strange things that has never happened in the face of the earth will happen within the 80 days we already about 20 days and we seen we breaking records of 125,000 years we never saw the heat like before and a thousand years we never saw flood like that more strange things are coming upon the earth beloved and friends the end times are upon Upon us the end times are upon us this time man can repent and realize this world is not their home this world is not your home god who created this world will destroy this world with fire and brimstone he take the heat for warning from the prophet yes this world will be destroyed very soon so remember repent repent and make your salvation secure make sure you accept jesus christ as your lord and savior and make 
make sure that your name is written in the Lamb's book of life because this world is not your home. This world is coming to an end. This world is changing. We see very soon we're going to see hurricanes going to hit this earth, especially in America and other parts of the world that you have never seen in thousands of years. Prepare for what is coming, more disaster. I preached a couple of years ago about these things and I mentioned great disaster. We have not seen 5% of the magnitude, but right now I think we are seeing about 10%. So we, we remember there is about 90% more. Can, if you can't bear the 10%, what will happen when the 90% come? That is why do not miss the rapture. Do not live here to be in the room and reign of the third world war and to be to face the antichrist and the battle of armageddon these things are coming these things are written and it must be fulfilled and god speak through the prophets to warn the world of things to come if you have your bibles beloved and friends let's get deep into the word of god there are hidden things that are not in the bible isn't that strange you says prophet what are you telling us today there are hidden things that are not in the Bible today beloved and friends God is a God God is God this is his universe and he does not he does as he pleases with it he created it and one day he will destroy it it then he will create a new heaven and a new earth hallelujah God is not accountable to anyone or anything beloved and friends he does not have to explain himself to anyone but he is is, he is a kind and caring as he has given us the book of the laws to guide us in this book beloved and friends there is a plan for the future and the bible tells us about the things that will happen we and the world are part of a timeline yes the timeline of human history we are moving closer and closer to a day of the calendar that we cannot name. Beloved and friends, history is not just repeating in circles. It is a progressing along a timeline. It has a beginning and it will have an end. History is moving from the beginning to the end. Are you hearing me today? However, on this timeline, God has not revealed all the details. He has kept some secrets as he is the only one who knows why why today Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 29 clearly tells us the secret things belongs belong unto God on our Lord but those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever beloved and friends that we may do all the words of his laws hallelujah there are some things that only God knows today Matthew 24 verse 30 36 clearly tells us but of that day and hour know it no man know it no man not the angels of heaven but oh, but my father only hallelujah the bible reveals certain things to us but there are topics on which it is come it is complete silence for example it does not provide information on the existence of life on other planets or whether our planet is the only inhabited one by beloved and friends the Bible also does not disclose the specific identities of all the angels and their heresies a while scripture mentioned numerous holy angels God has chosen to keep the majority of their names secret from us for the more today God has not given us history before creation beloved and friends we know very little about what happened before the foundation of the earth Additionally, today the Bible does not reveal the exact timing and details of future prophetic events. Hallelujah. Although God gave us signs, He does not provide us with precise dates. Hallelujah. Those are kept secret for the more. Yes, my friends, the Bible does not provide us with full details of heavenly or celestial realms beyond the mention, beloved and friends. It is closer than God has chosen 
chosen to keep things secret for us. Hallelujah. All these are aspects that God has kept hidden from us. However, today this is one of the most remarkable attributes of God himself. He dwells in a realm above us. Hallelujah. A realm of mystery. Yes, that they cannot be seen without our natural eyes. He resides in a glorious place. Yes, that no man can enter. Yes, beloved and friends, he, his existence transcends our understanding and knowledge. And I believe that this poses a significant challenge for the carnal mind. The carnal mind seeks to diminish God's creation and brings him down to a level that we can comprehend. Beloved and friends, it attempts to confine God to a position just slightly higher than us, than us as humans. But that what God is not merely a bit above us while we need oxygen and depend on this earth for survival God does not God does not we are limited to this world and this realm but God is not today hallelujah the Bible states that his thoughts are not our thoughts and his ways, his ways are not our ways. Just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are his ways and the thoughts higher than ours today. God perceives the world in a manner different from our limited perspective. Yes, my friends, while we observe the world from the ground, God views it from above. Yes, my friends, we see the world as it exists today, but God comprehends its past, present, and future states yes my friends and everything he does he perceives the end from the beginning yes he is omnipotent his knowledge compass and compass every aspect of existence however today the carnal or fleshly mind seeks seeks to confine God with the limits of human understanding which is an, is an impossible task hallelujah God surpasses the capacity of our mind today it is incapable of fully grasping him hallelujah in isaiah 66 verse 1 clearly tells us describes heavens as god's throne and the earth as his footstool yes my friends this indicates that even heaven cannot contain him heaven cannot contain him yet there are those who attempt to confine god with the limitations of the carnal minds beloved and friends god God surpasses the confines of our minds today. Yes, the Bible teaches us that certain things are meant to remain secret and belongs to God only there are aspects that we will never fully comprehend or discover yes my friends some things are best left unknown today the Bible begins with the statement in the beginning God in the beginning God created heaven and earth yes it does not provide details accounts of God's history before creation nor does it satisfy our curiosity recording certain matters today beloved and friends the story of Satan is disclosed because God deemed it necessary for us to know hallelujah without it it will have remained unaware of his fall from heaven yes my friends these imagetic aspect the ones that define understanding today and reason are what emphasizes God uniqueness as the one true God. Yes, my friends, they highlight in his immense power and his omnipotence. Yes, beloved and friends, I believe that in our personal lives, there are aspects known only to God which remain secret to us. Hallelujah. Perhaps you are facing a situation where you find yourself questioning why is it happening to you? You may be asking God, why has he allowed certain things to occur in your life? We often struggle with this mystery because God has not revealed his purpose to us. Hallelujah. As you reflect on your life, you may wonder how you have arrived at your current stage. Despite the numerous battles you have faced today, you might find it, beloved and friends, difficult to explain the events that have unfolded 
worry. However, God is assuring you, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm taking care of you. This is your time to trust God and, and, and accept his plans for your life. Regardless of what you are going through today, remember that there are certain things known only to God himself. It is not necessary for you to have knowledge of them, beloved and friends. Instead, you are called to follow faithfully. There are many children of God who cry out expressing their struggles and feelings of being overwhelmed. They may feel as though the world is against them and they may be hesitant to try again. Beloved and friends, they question why these difficulties are happening and them to them and yearn to know the secret things of God in their lives. They desire an explanation for their circumstances However, today God respond to them today, my friends, to us to trust him. Trust him. He promised not to let them down. Trust, trust in, trust in me. He says, I will never forsake you. Trust in me. I will never leave you. Hallelujah. Trust in me for I will promise to be there for you. Yes, no matter the difficulties you are facing in your life, regardless of what the enemy or the devil has brought upon on you I will stand by your side I will never abandon you yes nor forsake you my friends I am the same God who spoke to Moses through the burning bush I am the same God who declare I am that I am meaning today beloved I will be whatever you need me to be whatever you need me to be when when you require a lawyer yes I will be your advocate when you are in need of healing I will be your physician when you long for a companion I will be your brother hallelujah praise God so my friend today I ask you today why why don't you trust God why don't you trust God perhaps certain events have occurred in your life that have led you to question why me there may be circumstances that are beyond your understanding of However, there is no need, no need to worry about these things. Simply place your trust in God. Hallelujah. He has never failed anyone, beloved and friends, and he will not start failing you today. Trust in him wholeheartedly. Hallelujah. The Bible states in Romans chapter 8, verse 28, in the King James Version, and we know that all things work together, work together for good, for good to them that love of God to them that are called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is the word of the Lord for you. It is that God wants you to embrace today regardless of your current circumstances and the confusion you may be experiencing. God, my friends, want you to trust him. He desires your faith today and for you to acknowledge that you trust him. Don't allow your present <coughs> situation to shift your focus away from God my friends I believe that when God contains certain things from us it is ultimately for our benefit and the message for us is clear today we need to trust God we must trust his process and follow the steps he lays out for us it is his time to seize to cease complaining and be curious and instead being placing our trust our trust in God hallelujah as Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 days in the King James Version advises trust trust in the Lord with all the heart and lean not unto thy own understanding yes he says in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths hallelujah praise God as human beings today we often seek explanation for everything yeah, everything we question why bad things happen to us and why we go through tough times who oh, are seasoned especially when we identify as children of God hallelujah we desire answers and yearn to understand the reasons behind these challenging circumstances however today the truth is 
that there will be events in our lives that simply don't make sense and seems unfair unfair we may find ourselves wanting to know why God allowed them to happen some things will remain unknown to us hallelujah nevertheless beloved there is something we don't know as a believer in Christ regardless of how dark dismal and hopeless your story may appear today despite the hardships and difficulties you have faced we know how our story will ultimately end hallelujah praise God it will conclude in joy and happiness yes my friends in the eternal presence of our Lord your God in heaven for all of eternity hallelujah revelation chapter 21 verses 1 to 4 clearly tells us and I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away hallelujah and there was no more sea there was no more sea and I John first joy I John saw the holy city New Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven which is 1500 yes from heaven prepared as a bride a door for her husband and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying behold behold the tabernacle of God is with men and and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people yes and God himself shall be with them and he shall be their God hallelujah and God shall wipe away all their tears from their eyes hallelujah and they shall be no more debt neither sorrow nor crying neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away <laughs> passed away hallelujah praise god the former things are passed away let me explain the city that will come down upon this sort is 1500 miles long 1500 miles wide 1500 miles high up in the sky yes my friends 1500 miles in every direction in the room i'm standing here is about 10 feet or so high above my foot can you imagine a, a building a, a building that god prepared is 1500 miles how many stories if you will have it how many acreage and stories it that is capacity the house about with enough acreage and land and every space for human being it can house about 20 billion souls that's the city Jesus Christ God has prepared that one day will land upon this earth this earth will have no more sea no more sea no more Sun nor moon nor stars but the light of God will shine in the great city that God has prepared for mankind will land upon the sort of no more tornado no more volcano no more thunderstorm no more uh, no more tsunamis no more fire no more heat wave no more all these things will vanish because the new city that that God has prepared will land upon the sort of it can house about 20 billion souls i will speak about that some other time my friends but let me tell you something today my friends it is time for you to understand that this world this sick world we're living in is coming to an end everything will collapse very soon listen to my messages yes my friends i want to encourage you make sure you accept jesus christ as your lord and savior that you will not miss the rapture and you will spend the seven years in the marriage supper of the Lamb of God in heaven, a place that God has there for you during the year of the seven year tribulation period. And when we're coming back, we're coming back in that new building that will land upon this earth without no more sea, no more sun, no more moon, nor stars, nor all the disasters that is happening upon the earth. There will be nothing like that anymore, my friends. It will be the new heaven and the new earth, my friends. It has been a great joy and a privilege to be here this morning to minister the word of God I will cut here for now I will continue someone is calling me for the past three times I think it's very important praise the Lord God bless you richly do have a sweet and wonderful day I'll see you in the next session and I promise to pray for you in the next session in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name amen and amen I love you dearly in the love of God in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name amen and amen thank you jesus praise god hallelujah amen